Welcome, folks. This is Mr. Bedekman. Hey, we're going to talk today about flash floods. Kind of interesting. I've been learning some cool stuff as I've been preparing for today's lesson. Flash floods. So, what's a flash flood? You can kind of see this background picture, how this water has overcome the banks. Got some people over here on the side. All right, so it's going to be our background. Hey, what's a flash flood? It's a sudden rise in the water level of a stream, a river, or a man-made channel in response to heavy rain. Makes sense. It's a flood. Just a flash flood means it happens very quickly. Sudden, right? The word sudden there. Okay. What causes flash floods? Thunderstorms shouldn't cause flash floods, if you think of that, because, well, why do you think? Why don't you pause the video and then think what the answer might be? Well, it's because they are usually d d small. I mean, we think of a. So. And they, they are over quickly. See, one thing about a thunderstorm that we've learned is that thunderstorms end quickly. Also, they end quickly. So, but they do form floods. However, here's the issue. In mountainous terrain, if you get a persistent flow of humid air up a mountain, it can cause the storms to redevelop. So if you have one storm, but if you get hit by lots of storms. So if you live in a mountainous area, and we here in Woodland Park, we live in a mountainous area. So let's just, let's say, here's Colorado Springs right here. And here is the mountainous region we live in. So if we get some uh, weather that's going kind of up slope um, from the east, from where we're at, right, and, and you have this persistent humid air that keeps coming up the, um, the slope, you could have these thunderstorms develop over and over and over again, and you could get a, just a huge amount of water in the steep areas, and then you can get a flash flood. In fact, I'll show you a, a sort of tragic example of that here in a little bit. Um, and um, so another way that can, this can happen is if you get a train of slow-moving thunderstorms. This would happen more in a lower-lying area if you get this train of slow-moving uh, thunderstorms. But for us here where we live, of course, it's more important. We do live in mountainous terrain, and so flash floods are a real and present danger. Where do they occur? Um, they occur in the drainage basin. Uh, just to recall what a drain drainage basin is, some of you know this and some don't. The land area from which rainfall collects to reach a given point along some particular river. Okay, we just, this is the area, so if you've got, um, you've got a peak right here of a mountain or something like this, then all the water that falls on this side is going to flow downhill. But maybe, you know, from this mountain range over here too, you have a canyon and you can create lots of water flowing in it, you know, kind of funnels and channels the water. Um, the other thing that's going to happen, it's going to happen downhill. Uh, water flows downhill. So um, the thing about flash floods that's intriguing is that you may be in a place where it may not even be raining where the flood occurs. But if it rains up here in the mountains and you're down here in some canyon, um, you could get um, a lot more water. Another issue is the urban areas. They're starting to see lots more flash floods. You see in an urban area, it's got lots of asphalt and concrete. Well, of course, asphalt and concrete doesn't absorb the water as much as out in uh, the country. And so if that's the case, then they actually can get a lot of flash flooding because they've got these concrete things. Um, and so the water will tend to uh, flow more rapidly. And you can see flash flooding in urban areas. We'll actually watch a couple of videos clips, uh, one that's urban and one that's, that's not. Okay, in fact, well, let's do that now. Let's watch, uh, what should we do first? Well, let's do the uh, mountain one first, uh, the mountain clip first, and then we'll do the urban clip. So, everybody, this is the chute that about five minutes ago we all just propelled down. And just as the very last person, our guide Rick, was reaching the bottom, this flash flood hit us and it's Woo! filled up this big in about six minutes all this water has filled up this canyon and if we'd have been off that five minutes later we'd all be in that this is a flash flood and we all made it down in time and what wow Pretty cool. Those are amazing video clips to see how those flash floods develop. Hey, let's just uh, also quickly say, what's the difference between a flash flood and a flood? A flash flood happens in mountainous areas. Water flows very fast down the stream and creates fast-moving, dangerous water. Now, in low-lying areas, the water essentially just overflows the banks. And these are just called floods. Um, so um, it, typically like in the Midwest of the United States, every spring, and spring right now in fact, they're talking about certain uh, 
rivers overcoming their banks. And if they overcome their bank, it's not just this quick thing. Um, it's it's uh, they predict it. They know exactly. They say, well, the river. The, we expect that the the banks are going to overflow on such and such a date at such and such a time. They can actually predict that. Flash floods happen in a moment. There's they'll have a flash flood warning saying, watch it. It's it might happen, but they don't know where it's going to happen. They can't predict it. But in a regular flood, it just is going to overflow the banks in a low lying area or low lying um, stream or low gradient stream, right? Um, let's tell you a story, kind of a tragic story. July thir 31st of 1976, um, 139 people died, mostly campers, in what's called the Big Thompson Canyon Flood. That's not terribly far from us. Here's a map down here. And here we have, this is Denver right here, the Denver area. And up here where the, the A is, this is a little town called Estes Park. It's the uh, entry to what's called Rocky Mountain National Park. It's a very sort of famous touristy spot. And um, there was a flash flood. Essentially what happened was is they had a um, Oh, well, let me say a couple of things. Uh, many people tried to leave uh, in cars. It, it's a canyon, by the way, um, and they shouldn't have. They should have climbed to safety, and they, they perished um, in there. In fact, I, I found a website with just the list of every person who died, all 139. It was kind of like, wow, look at the list. Um, anyway, so what happened was is that thunderstorms developed over the plains. These are the plains, and the green is pretty much the mountains. And these thunderstorms started to move the east, and they kept dumping snow, uh, snow rain after rain after rain. In fact, the amount of snow, rain is just unbelievable. So you got this east-to-west flow of humid air up the mountain slopes. Now, by the way, here is uh, this second map over here. Uh, this map is of uh, sort of the Google Images map here. Um, you can see this is uh, what's called Lake Estes, or, and this is the town of Estes Park right here. And just right kind of through here, there's this road. It's hard to see, but this road follows this canyon, and, and this is where they got 10 to 12 inches of rain in two hours. That is a lot of rain, folks. 10 to 12 inches of rain in two hours. And these storms, this hot, humid air, um, or humid air, not sure, hot, this humid air flowed up the hill, got stopped in the mountain, and it dropped 20 to 30, or 10 to 12 inches. Which, and then the river essentially had 200 times the amount of water that it normally expects to get. I lost my picture there. Um, and uh, you can see this picture down here in the bottom here. You can see them looking. This is a road here, and there's a road that travels through here. I've driven on this road before. Um, uh, yeah, wow, it's gone. And so are a lot of people. What was it, 139 people or whatever? Wow, unbelievable, the, the destruction. Hey, there's some safety tips. So if you are ever near a flash flood, and we do live in a place where flash floods can occur, um, watch for the rising water levels. Okay. Uh, if you see what levels of water running, uh, you probably should uh, start thinking. The key real safety is to get to high ground. Um, if that means climbing, um, it's going to flow downhill. Get to the highest ground that you possibly can. Don't pitch a tent in a dry stream, and that's sort of a duh thing, probably. Um, there's just uh, stream beds are stream beds because water used to flow there. And if you find a dry stream bed thing, that'd be a great place to pitch a tent. Um, in the middle of the night, you'll wake up possibly, and uh, you'll be washed down river if you get a flash flood or something. That would be a bad thing. Don't attempt to cross the water that is more than knee deep. Another tragic story I should tell you. Um, I lived in Denver. Speaking of an urban flash flood, um, I lived in Denver for a time, and while I was there, um, I, I knew somebody. Um, he was a firefighter, and he. Uh, he was going into some water similar to this background image like this to save somebody who had uh, driven their car, trying to car drive their car through it. Long story short, he got, uh, he got swept away. Um, I think his rope broke or whatever he had. And um, he got trapped in a little culvert and he was killed. So, um, yeah, these flash floods, uh, be careful. Don't, don't, don't try and do stuff. And in this, his case, my friend's case, his, uh, his situation was uh, he was trying to rescue somebody who was being stupid and uh, it cost him his life. Um, if a car stalls, get out and get out to higher ground. Um, that, that's the situation that that person had. But some, you know, don't drive your car into one of these uh, water things. Like this guy driving a car down here and think, oh, I'll just drive through here. I uh, don't think that would be a good idea. No. Okay. Uh, also, if it, if it's coming uh, in the United States anymore, they're going to say a flash flood warning or something like that on the radio. So if you suspect something's on, turn your radio on or your TV or whatever and uh, prepare yourself. So um, real quick podcast. I hope you've uh, learned some good stuff. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.